I wanted to show a technique really quick that you can do with your Cle and with the help of the clock divider um, do a um, beat synced uh, length per stepped thing a la Bukla 250E or um, the the Rick the M185 which is what the Metropolis is uh, based on. I kind of learned uh, this technique from Tony uh, talking about how you could do length per step for pressure points uh, with the brains. Uh, but if you rope the the clock divider into it, you can make uh, your your uh, gate lengths tempo relevant. <clears throat> so here's what's going on. The here's my master clock I'm using the uh, Pamela's workout, and it is clocking the clock divider. The clock divider is clocking the CLE out of one here, and it's also out of that same jack I'm sending it to my envelope, which is this uh, DIY Bukla 281. And so um, in spread mode, the divisions are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16. I've actually just got the, the range here set to only go up to uh, like halfway up. If I did uh, full range using the variable range, um, I, I'd, I'd be able to get all the way up to whole notes. But I'm just going to go up to half notes. <laughs> um, so anyway, here's what it's like. The pitch side, by the way, is in random and it's getting uh, fed from this touring machine over here. So anyway. See what happens is, you know, this B side is giving voltage to the rotate on the clock divider and uh, setting the length per step. And they're all, uh, you know, divisions of the of the tempo, even divisions, uh, quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets. So, you know, like if I bring my time factor in here, which is I've got the tempo set to 80 as the clock is over here. So anyway, something to check out. Like I say, you don't have to have a clock divider to set length for step. It's just a kind of a, a neat way to do it and uh, keeping it uh, even tempo relative. <laughs>